This video is about the Compact Armada 1592DT notebook computer. It is a 12.1 inch notebook computer made in 1997 by Compaq of course. It has a rather basic range of expansion but you know, doesn't matter. Uh, it has here the headphone jack, microphone jack, volume rockers, Kensington lock, CD-ROM drive. This is a bay for the battery or some other kind of expansion. Not for a floppy though, that won't fit here. I can uh, take this thing out of here. There we go. See, this is just a dummy. There's nothing in there. Weighs practically nothing too, so. And it has a sticker of a wolf on it for some reason. Maybe that's just the compact mechanics being funny again. We've got a tendency of doing that. Okay, so on the bottom there's absolutely nothing. Here on the back we have serial parallel VGA docking station port. This is the plug for the built-in power supply. Fan over here. On the PS2 and infrared port. On the other side, USB, two type 2 card bus slots, or one type 3. Here's a floppy drive. Very basic. Okay, now I've got to open the top, which is a two handed job. There you go. That's what it looks like. A little bit of wear on the touchpad. Buttons still feel good. Left is more worn than right, as usual. Keyboard is still in good condition four programmable buttons sleep button, power, or whatever seems to be interchangeable, it turns on anyway as soon as I plug in the cable, which I will do right now let's see if you can get the thing in there okay, there we go it has 64 megabytes of memory Three point two gigabyte hard drive made by IBM. And the Pentium MMX two thirty three, so that's going to look dual booting. The Windows XP partition is just for uh, some transferring related uh, purposes because I needed to hook up a flash drive to this thing to get uh, files over and then transfer the USB flash drive drivers for 98 to the Toshiba and stuff. I'll probably make a video on infrared transfers. Sound is working. The screen isn't the brightest, I agree. Huh, errors from the Wi-Fi card. Just need to reinstall the drivers and it will work again. It's really that simple. Let me just sit down a little bit more. Okay, so let's go to my computer. There goes running Windows 98, second edition. 64 megs of RAM, Pentium processor. The video chip in this thing is a Chipson Technology 65548 PCI. Two megabytes of frame buffer. It's enough for playing DOS games, but uh, I'm not too sure what this PC is going to run yet. Probably not keeping 98 SE anyway. This might uh, actually become my NT4 machine. We'll see how that goes. Uh, okay. So yeah, it's it's running beautifully under 98. It's it's quick. It's responsive. This disk ha is not quite in the best shape anymore, but you know it works.
So yeah, I still have about 500 megs left on my C drive. Same on my D. So, not much to show you here, just some DOS games I tested. Mostly just, you know, battling between the two best of these uh, four laptops that I got to figure out which is the best for DOS games. It's mostly concerned in the way uh, MIDI is played back, so. This one has an excellent MIDI track. Let's see if it will actually run. Okay. It did not. Let's run set up to see if this will, can get this to work. Let's see. Uh, Gravis Ultra Sound anew. It does not have that. Sound Blaster. Let's just go for the default. 16 bit. Yes. Oh, whoops. Music. Very important. Yeah. Okay, let's run a test. I personally think this is a better MIDI track to uh, showcase MIDI capabilities than, than that bullcrap that uh, some other people use, like the Canyon demo and stuff. Just use a good old DOS game for the real MIDI. As you can hear, some instruments are simply missing in this version. And I just uh, eh, crashed the sound. Okay, let's turn that off. Okay, so. Uh, that was pretty much a showcase of this uh, Compact Armada 1592 DT from 1997 running. I'm pretty happy with this laptop, really. It just needs a... Uh, I think it would have need a battery at some point, maybe, if I were to really use this thing. But, uh, you know, I don't really care. It has a built-in power supply. That's a really neat feature. But other than that, there's no real point of uh, using this thing on a daily basis. But it's good for retro purposes, that's for sure. I mean, I like it. So, uh, I only have the other two compact Preserios left, which I will just cover in one video because they're, you know, pretty much the same. They just have different CPUs and one has more RAM than the other, but other than that, they're pretty much the same deal. So, yeah. That's the conclusion of the laptop of this video, which is the Compact Armada 1592DT. With a nice 12.1 inch display, 800 by 600 pixels, yay. It can run a 24 bit color, which is quite decent. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching.